and I just had a uh, had a bitch moment. And um, what? Jack, tools, gimbal, and an open garage? What's about to happen? That's right. Time to tighten this shit up. Fired up. Cold start on deck. My camera lenses. I don't know why they look cloudy. Now we just got to put her in the middle of the garage. Let's put her in the middle of the garage. We'll jack her up. We'll get to work on this old dog. Now they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but I don't believe that. I am not of the mind that believes that shit. We're gonna get it right. Middle of the garage. And I love, remember the old, the Cadillacs had this for like 30 years. I actually love that light system. Tells you when you're getting close to shit. Like, Probably can back her up another inch or two, actually. So she's not so much of on a slant. All right, there we go. So next thing, we're going to set this gimbal up. I'm going to get the jack over here. Jack up this side, take off this wheel, start disassembling that steering knuckle. And for this, <clears throat> we have a two-ton jack, which would be more than enough to do it. We have six ton jack stands and we got wheel hubs right there. All right, now what we got to do is put my keys down. And before you comment about this, this is already fixed. It's just another thing on my list of me having to cut drywall out and replace. I just haven't got time to do it yet. We have the jack. Now what we got to do is find a jack point here under the car. <sighs> Preferably not on the steering knuckle. <clears throat> all right, so it looks like all of this is pretty solid metal. I don't see an actual jack point down here. I'm gonna look up front. I mean, I'm sure I could jack it up on any of this metal shit though. Do I even want to know what that is? <laughs> it looks like it's all been replaced recently. That's the computer, huh? I'm pretty sure that should probably be covered with something. I'm gonna have to, uh, or it's some kind of computer module. I'm gonna have to cover that shit. I do not see a very good jack point anywhere here that I could get. I don't want to get anywhere near electronics or computers and shit, so. I guess I'm gonna go farther back. I mean, I know I could jack from probably right there. <sighs> That's probably a good spot, right? Right there and have the jack stand holder up right there. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. God damn, it's really close over there towards the oil pan and shit though. Yeah, F it, we gotta get started somewhere. See if we can get a solid footing right here. There we go. Lift her up. Let's go. Now I know some of them say, TK, you don't have wheel chocks. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. I want to see if this is a good jack point, and it looks like it is. This should let me be able to get her up off the ground. God, she is dirty as fuck down here. I gotta fix whatever that power steering leak is for sure. Because I don't want it leaking on shit like this. <laughs> Alright, let's get her jacked up. And we'll get to work on this disaster over here. Oh, boy.
And the interesting thing is going to be able to get the jack stand. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that right in the rib. Thank God. Oh, you know, hold that jack in place. <sighs> All right, let me see where we're at. Tires off the ground. <sighs> Just have to find a good place for that jack stand. Which would be right here, but my dumbass put the jack right in the way, didn't I? All right, I don't know why we have a screw in this. Interesting. Like a wood wood screw. That's just asking for the tire to get that on. All right. She's about fully extended on the jack. Maybe not. She's got more to give. All right. Now she's fully extended and lifted. We'll see if we can put one of the jack stands under here to help support the jack. Damn it. <sighs> Change of plans. We returned the two ton jack, which was like 50 bucks. Ah, <sighs> fuck. We got a three ton jack, which is like a fast lift, top of the line jack. That should get us high enough off the ground to put the jack stands under it. Jesus Christ, that thing's heavy though. <laughs> the guy was like, you need help carrying that ass in the car? And you know, what does he say, be a man? Shout out to the homie from Boston, be a man. No, you know, you never ask for help. You pick that fucking shit up and you put it on your fucking shoulder and you carry it with one arm. Especially because there's a bunch of females in the auto zone and you don't want to look like a pussy. So, all right, back to the house. We go about 20 minutes. Fuck. And back at it. Uh, the missus is laughing at me after my be a man moment having to carry this heavy ass jack and then trying to get it out of the car. <laughs> Fuck that. We won't do that again. We finally got this big ass jack in the right position. Ooh, my back. I can feel it in my lower back. It feels so good. <laughs> the pain. All right, now this jack should get this thing sky high in the air, which means I can get that under it. Whew, I'm gonna catch my breath so I don't sound so much like a pussy. And uh, we'll be back here in a minute. There's nothing better than when you're working on a car and you have somebody that cares about you and then they bring you a sandwich. See that shit? What? <laughs> All right, guys. We got the wheel here. We got her on a jack stand, which I know is kind of sketch. But I'm going to get her over here. And we're going to get to work on this thing. All right, we're going to get started. I got my 3 4 socket on the impact. You also could use a 19. 19 looks like it fits. Oh, again, these aren't stock wheels, so it is what it is. Left, lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Let's look and see if we can get her to bust free. Done. Uh oh, don't be stuck now. We're not doing that shit. I hate when that happens. Oh, I hate that. Oh, absolute worst when that fucking gets stuck. I swear to God, literally every step, we've had some bullshit. Oh, damn it. I don't try to lose happen? a socket. How does that happen? 100% credit for this right here. I have to give the missus credit. So when the socket got stuck, it was a like screwdriver and ball peen hammer. And ta da! All right, I got two out. Three. That one came out nice and easy. Uh oh. That's not like it's stripped. Wow. 
Bring around the rosy, huh? All right. On four. And the last one, which is probably going to be a dick. Came out nice and easy. But again, stuck. Stuck in the thing. We'll do the uh, Mrs. Method again. <laughs> Whoa, why are you laughing? That's funny because you know I'm not mechanically inclined. But you figured it out. I suck. You don't suck. <laughs> well, anyways. Hey! Um, let's, uh, what, what was the hay for? Oh, let's see. Your mind, and, and y'all be saying I have a fucked up mind. Man, listen, man. Look here. <laughs> All right. So now we got to get this grimy ass wheel off here. Let me move my beautiful sandwich and stuff out of the way. We'll get this like this so you guys get a good view. Let's grab the wheel, pull and yank, and she comes off. Nice and easy. Now the next thing we have to do is take that brake caliper apart, take the brake off, and then um, we should be able to get this rotor off. And then uh, we'll get to work on the getting this wheel hub, which this is the this is the part right here that's going to get replaced. Is this right here in the center? All right, next thing we're gonna do is take this caliper off. So to be able to do that, we're gonna get this bolt and that bolt off, which will loosen up the caliper. And then usually I try to bungee cord it to like this for it to hang. I'm probably just gonna put a box or something down here for it to sit on. So I'm not pulling on the uh, hydraulic lines. But uh, yeah, let me get my, let me see what size that is. I think it's a 10 mil, right? Is it 10? No, 12. 12 millimeter. All right. We'll get that going. Some people will say it's overkill to use the bigger ratchet, but for me personally, I just, uh, I don't know. I just like the, the bigger ability to have more torque on the uh, nut. I don't have to fight as hard to get it off. You know what I'm saying? Literally just hit it and go. And right, this will get nice and loose. Let that come out. I'll get that nice and loose. Do the same thing up here. <clears throat> Let me get the brake caliber loose. Someone just literally spray painted these calipers, dumbasses. All right, now these should be loose enough. Nope, still not. But they should be loose enough where I can put a socket on it and turn them. Yep. That'll work. Oh, did I tighten it? Maybe I did, hold on. I did, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Working backwards here. All right. All right, this just comes out. Eventually, you should be able to pull on this. I don't know if you can see this up top. Yeah. And you can just take these bolts out. Looks like this. Set it off to the side. The little rubber grommets and stuff should stay on there. Oh, don't tell me you're going to be a little pain in my ass, are you? Meaning you don't want to come out. You're going to come out. You don't have a choice. Oh. Of course... Never have the right tools here for this job, right? <laughs> yeah, she's coming out some. Oh, boy. Gotta love this shit, right? I swear, it's literally when you're doing stuff that it's literally... wonder if this is actually not unscrewing because that's not being held. Yep. So it's literally just spinning as one assembly instead of coming apart. There we go. Yep. Smarter, not harder, right? Bolt out. 
All right, now I'm gonna go find a box or something to take this caliper off. We'll sit it down here somewhere. And then we'll get to work on the steering knuckle. And then we go, out a whole ass box, I could just go ahead and sit the caliper on it so I'm not putting too much tension on this right here. Now, it's literally about pulling her off and getting this free. So we're gonna do that now. All right, here, we're gonna come off. Take the caliper. Luckily, I shouldn't have to alligate, uh, what do you call that? C-clamp those pistons closed. They should be fine the way they are. All right, and the next thing is, I believe these are bolted on, right? It is down there. All right, so now we'll take the rest of that bracket off, move that out of the way. Now I'm pretty sure that that size is gonna be a little bigger. I'm thinking what, 14 mil maybe? On the money, look at that. All right, chain sockets again, keep the big, big boy ratchet. Oh, that would help if I grab the right thing. All right, I'm gonna move you guys over here so you guys can see. <clears throat> Big boy ratchet, 14 mil. We'll come over here, point you guys up, see if you guys get a better view. Yeah, it looks like you guys can see it. We're doing this one and that one. So we'll get in here like so. Wow, look at this. I can turn this by hand. Holy shit. Well, somebody didn't tighten these to spec. That's for damn sure. Look at that. I didn't even have to put... I had to put no effort into breaking that loose. Please tell me they're not both that loose. What the F? All right, that one's tight. Jesus Christ. So one of the brake caliper... One of the brackets were literally... Loose enough that I could just hand turn this. Holy crap, man. Oh, well, now I can just turn these. We'll get this one, move my knee out the way so it doesn't fall and bust my goddamn knee. All right, we'll put this here. These are a little bit longer of a bolt. Oh, sorry guys, didn't mean to hit the camera. We'll do the same thing here. Get her nice and loose and that should break this part free which will then let us get to the wheel hub. All right. And yes, I'm turning this by hand. Why don't you use a ratchet, TK? Don't need to. All right. Brake pads look pretty decent. I don't know if you guys can see those. They have a lot of pad left there. We're just gonna sit this up here on the box as well. I don't have to really mess with any of that. And now we get to the fun part. All right, I'm gonna put that socket with those bolts. I have a method to my madness, I promise. All right, and now what we do is, we're literally just gonna grab this rotor and pull it off. <laughs> so I think. <laughs> oh boy. I don't tell me this has some kind of a uh, rotor holder <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Yep, this is where we uh get the hammer and uh knock her loose because uh she doesn't want to come off by herself nice and easy. So uh we'll beat it free. We will beat it free. Let's do it. Pardon my ignorance, it's been a while since I've done one of these. And I don't remember my Envoy or Suburban having one of these effing torque screws holding the fucking rotor in place, but evidently this one does. So, or I'm not. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> All right, we got the rotor free. Oh my God. Mechanic shop with TK. This ain't no Bob Vila shit, I can tell you that. Whew. All right, we got the rotor chilling back there. All right, let's stop for a minute. Oh, let me see. Oh, listen to that. Hear it? 
Hey there, listen, let me get y'all closer so y'all can hear this shit. Listen to this. Hear that? It definitely shouldn't be doing that. That is a bad wheel hub. So, there's a couple bolts back here that we get to, and that will, there's actually three, all right? One, two, three. It will release it. We put the new hub on. We put it all back together. It's literally like a 45 minute job. It is not difficult to do this job. It's very easy. Ugh, it's just uh, annoying, I guess would be the way to say it. So I got the new wheel hub right here and the missus just came out and I just had a, uh, had a bitch moment. And um, you know when you snap sockets together and then the skin is stuck between there and you go, oh, yeah, I just did a, hi, poppy. That's what I just did. No, all right, 13 millimeter. We'll take care of those three bolts. I'm gonna, I mean, I know you guys are kind of in a bad spot with the sun and my probably my fat arms being in the way. But I'm going to do my best to give you guys a good view here as I break these free. Oh. Ooh, this one's going to make me get up, huh? All right. These were always tight on the Suburban, and you want them to be tight. But I will torque these to spec. There we go. And there's a little shield there. Some people keep them, some people don't. I really don't fucking care. If it's a pain in the ass to put it back on, I will not include the shield. Let's just break these free. God damn. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Woo! This is probably the stock knuckle. I'm willing to bet. I mean, the stock hub. I'm willing to bet. This hub has been on here since its manufacturer. No doubt in my mind. Wow, that is super tight, man. <laughs> All right, so you get the premise. We're gonna get these bolts out and we'll come back here in a minute. Oh, fuck. God, I'm a fucking idiot, man. What a pain in the fucking ass this has been today. Working on this fucking piece of shit. Oh, my God. Dude. This is why we hire people to do this shit. We're working on YouTube over here. All right, guys. You guys are live on Instagram. But we also are filming this one for YouTube. So, you guys can see I got the wheel hub off. The old one is all grimy and shit over here. Sounded like shit. We got the new one here, the shield there. Now it's literally just putting it back together, guys. We'll put her back together. We'll uh, C-clamp that brake caliper back in, bleed the brakes. And then I'm gonna try to get on this body panel over here and see if I can figure out why that fender is sticking out a little bit. See if we can get that hammered back in. And then at least mechanically, she sound until my uh, supercharger oil kit comes in tomorrow. And then the uh, we got to do the uh, plugs, wires, and um, what do you call it? Coil packs. When I look in the comments and curse me out, why? Oh. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to set you guys right here, too, if you guys are watching on the live on Instagram. Oh, shit. Let's get the camera situated. All right, we good. We good. All right. Now I just got to feed this shit through. Oh, I got to get the shield up first, right? So dumb. Uh, we got the shield up. I got this up. Does it matter which way it goes? I don't think so. Yeah, all right. We're in the building. All right, now I just got to get the speed sensor over here, snapped in. All right, we get one bolt, get her in place. Oh, fuck. And then we're good. <laughs> this was the part I always hated. I hated this part. Trying to line shit up and get it into the hub 
was always a pain in the fucking ass. Oh, it went in. It's in. Unbelievable. That was lucky as shit. I'll take that. Oh, it's not in. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> here I am. I'm like, oh, we did something. Look at Oh, you know what? Pay no attention to the dumbass oh, behind the uh, behind the camera. I'm putting the damn caliper bolts in. Oh, stupid. All right, time to be smarter, TK. Jesus Christ. All right. Wheel hub lined up. Bolt. Put it in the hole, damn it. Put it in the hole. All right. And first bolt is in. We're good. Makes the rest of this job fairly friggin' easy. Ugh. Get some of my coffee real quick. Let me see what y'all talking shit about over here in the chat. I know y'all probably roasting the fuck out of me. All right, so, so there's a difference. See how that sounds? You don't hear shit? Yeah. That's the big difference between a, a shitty fucking wheel bearing and a brand new one we'll clean her up with some brake cleaner here in a minute put this thing back together but anyways you guys will be seeing a, a video on youtube of me doing this i gotta get oh fuck man i do not miss that shit um we're gonna uh oh mike said he's watching live fuck all right well we're going to get the rest of this thing buttoned up. Y'all are welcome to hang out while I get it done. While we're filming here. And I'm going to uh, put the rest of these bolts in. Alright guys, so you can see we got the hub in place. I have pretty much hand tightened it. i got to turn the wheel back the other way to tighten up the other one. And then, I'm going to torque it down the spec with the torque wrench. And we should be in uh, a good enough place to put her back together at that point so i will get back here behind here and with the wrench and we'll tighten her down The biggest thing with this is you don't want to over tighten this and you want to torque it to spec. All right, I'm going to break out my uh, torque wrench and we'll get to work. So one thing I found guys on this so far is the new wheel hub does not allow me to put this screw in here um, because it doesn't line up correctly. Oh, this thing's covered in grease. That's awesome. So, yeah, the, the, the bearing was just like squirting grease. That thing shot. All right. So, what we do now is we're going to uh, basically put the bracket back on for the calipers. After I get my brake pads out here, we'll put those back in. But basically, what we do is we put this back on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, guys, so I'm trying not to fuck up my gimbal here. I'll grab it with the towel. So basically what we're doing now is we put the bracket back on after we have the rotor on, and we'll hand tighten this down into place. Basically get that, you know, with the bolts and stuff started, and then I'll, I'll put the caliper back together. And that's pretty much it, but we're going to go ahead and put all this together. I'll time lapse this part, and we'll be done.
guys. We got her back together. I can get this box out of the way. Now, we'll turn the wheel back. And we'll put the wheel back on. So, you'll probably see that at the end of the video. But I wanted to show you guys her all back together. Pretty simple job to do. It's literally just like Legos, man. She's not difficult. You know, a couple of bolts here, a couple of bolts that hold in the bracket, and then the bolts that hold on the hub. Fairly simple job. No, I did not need to put the screw in there to hold the hub to this in place. That's what the caliper and everything else does. And the lug nuts that go on the wheel. So we should be good. I'm going to button her up. We'll drop her. We'll take her for a ride. And we'll see how she sounds. All right, we got the wheel on her. Yeah, I banged that fender in a little bit. Took that crap apart. It looks a little bit better. It's still sticking out. Some right there, as you guys can see. I'm going to get her washed. There's some undercarriage damage there I'm going to have to fix. But we're going to go get her a bath after we go get this together. Next thing we got to do is just jack her up. Get that jack stand out from under her. And uh, we'll be good to go. All right, she's all up in the air. We'll pull that jack stand out. We'll let her down. We'll re-tighten those up again with an old school tire iron. Make sure they're tight and we'll take her for a ride. Should be good. All right, first things first, she's rolling. Brakes seem to be okay. We're gonna go put some gas in it. She's definitely low. Only got 40 miles of range. It's a big V8. Okay. So, bleeding the brakes. You don't have to bleed the brakes with this job. Normally, they'll just reset themselves. But let me see something. Sounds good. Noise. I hit the brakes. She doesn't pull one way or the other. Oh, yeah, she pulls a little bit to the right. <laughs> That'll sort itself out, though, as I drive her. That'll sort itself out as we drive. First time I'm putting gas in the car, I just noticed that the gas is on the passenger side. Like a German car. Weird. Not like they're trying to steal German customers or anything, right? All right, we have $4 again. We're gonna put 91 in it. Now I know everybody says these cars take 87, but F that. Get used to putting it in it because we're gonna tune it at 91 or 93. We're $4 a gallon because you know, we have these dumbass rules and policies out here and this California bullshit going on. Gonna have to rewrap this. I wanna Chrome delete all this shit. If I got to paint it, we're going to paint it. Whoever wrapped this did a kind of shitty job. But we want to we want to completely have her blacked out. I like it that way. When they put the tires on, I can see they got the paint off the wheel there. So we'll touch that up. But next, we're going to take her for a car wash. And we can actually see all these scratches and stuff and see what part of the paint, if I can save it, or if she's going to just have to go get a paint job. And I'm thinking she's probably going to need to get a paint job. But we'll get her right. Now, being this is a Cadillac, I expected this thing to take like 20 or 30 gallons. Who knows? We're going to see. We're almost at 10 gallons right now. I figure at least 20 gallons, right? She's empty. It should be at least 80 bucks was my guess. No, I haven't Googled it. No, I didn't look it up. Wow. I don't think I'd ever want to be seen in a Kia Spectra, but I don't know. That's just me. Yo, Mahomes and, and Kelsey, boy, that motherfuckers is everywhere, man. All right, she just popped at 58. Wow, really? This is only a 15-gallon tank? 
Or maybe she's really 18 gallons and, I, and the gauge is off. Damn it. There's nothing better than a Subway Series footlong. All right, we're at 59 bucks. Let me see if I can fit a full 60 in it. I know. We got it, 60 bucks even, 15 gallons even. So I'm guessing she has an 18 and a half gallon tank. That's my guess then, if she took 15 gallons. So we'll have to see, go get my change. So we got a full tank and 250 miles of range. Boom. The next thing we will address is that airbag light. I'll show you. I'll do a separate video on that, guys. It's very simple to do. Slowly unplug and plug back in, and then I can clear it with my scan tool if need be. Now what we're going to do is go give her a bath because she looks like shit. The wheel hub so far sounds good. Now I hear some other clunking and popping in the suspension. That could be ball joints. We will have to see if we can... Uh, tighten that up but let's go up to the uh car wash and get her cleaned up god it just not only does it I, it doesn't feel as loose in the front she had a little bit of play and that's probably because the bearing was so like she was probably at, at the point of, of busting loose now nice and quiet now i have another bearing to do the other side i, I got another wheel hub um, you should do them at the same time, but I was just like, in the effort of time, can you know, like with time constraints and shit, I was just like, F it, I'm not doing that right now. I see the seatbelt light ain't working either. I ain't got my damn seatbelt on. Interesting. <laughs> but she's running. Tomorrow we got, or yeah, tomorrow the coil packs, oh, there's the seatbelt. Uh, coil packs are coming in tomorrow. And then I'm doing spark plugs. We'll see if there's a bunch of oil in the wells, which means valve cover gasket. Just general maintenance, man. That's all this car needs. <laughs> and it's one of the things that I like the most about this car is that it is American. The parts are readily available. This is not like a, the GTO is basically a Holden, right? Um, which a lot of GM parts fit on it, but some parts were a bitch to get. This car should be fairly easy to find stuff, uh, being that it's a Cadillac. Like, and I, if I can't find it new, like there's junkyards, there's taillights, there's, you know, I'll be able to find most of the stuff I need for this car. And here's the thing, like I said, the car doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to look nice, I want it to run good, and I want it to be able to, I want to be able to play with it when we take it out. You know, like, you. Get, I don't know if you heard that, but that was a misfire right there. It was like, bro, it's like, it like bogs. It doesn't bog for a second. It just misses. And, um, I think part of that is the coil packs. She doesn't smoke or anything. So I don't think I have oil in the spark plug wells or leaking down into the spark plugs. So we'll see. Um, but what's crazy is on the scan tool, even when I'm looking at it in real time, I don't, it doesn't give me what cylinder is misfiring. So that's where I feel like, I feel like once, and here's the thing, I'm willing to bet this car has the same spark plugs and the same coil packs since the factory. The wheel hub I took off of her today was from the factory. So that wheel hub has been on this car for 158,000 miles with who knows what kind of wheels and stuff on it. Now, this car does have some kind of self-leveling system. I have heard when I start this thing up, uh, when I'm starting to roll it out of the garage, I hear that, which is almost like a an airbag pump. So I don't know if this thing has bags, you know, or has air suspension somewhere. Um, I haven't got that deep into it. We're gonna dig, we'll dig into it. I'm gonna see what it is. It's probably the Cadillacs have like this self-leveling system. A lot of them have had it over the years. So we'll get into that. But right now, you know, she looks like shit. She has a full tank of gas. We did get the wheel hub done. Uh, speed sensor and everything looks fine. There's no ABS codes. So that's a win. We're going to wash her up. And then I'm going to go home and take a shower. And then we're going to take her out for the evening. Now that I feel like I can drive it safely. And I don't hear a noise. And she's quiet as a mouse now. 
There's no wah, 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 none of that shit. I love it. She's a little clanging and banging when she goes over stuff. Part of that is this car was not designed for these big 20 inch staggered wheels either. Um, I know I've, people have been like, why don't you just put the STS V wheels on it or whatever? And I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to put 18 inch wheels on it. I kind of like the way she looks, you know, aggressive with the staggered black rims. So we'll see, but we're going to get her cleaned up and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up the video. Now, before you also comment and go, no, TK, this is so horrible for the paint. Have you seen the scratches all over this car? I just got to get it clean so I can see how bad it is so I know what I got to do, all right? We're going to find out if she leaks. I sure the fuck hope not. Windows are all up and tight. No leaks yet. I don't see anything yet. That's a positive. I like it. Oh, hopefully she gets nice and clean. Clean my wheels up, clean the rest of the car up. We'll wipe her down when we get out. And then when we get home, we can really evaluate the scratches and stuff and find out if the paint is savable or am I gonna have to put her in for paint or a wrap? I don't know, you guys could vote. I don't know, wrap or paint. We'll have to figure it out. I can't see shit. Like the window windshield is covered in whatever the fuck. I haven't seen any other spray or anything coming down on my windshield. What the fuck? I literally can't see shit. Damn. No leaks that I see. All right. That's what's up. I like it. And we got the good car wash too, so she should be nice and clean with some kind of wax and seal it and all that good crap on it. Not that it matters. All right, here comes the air. a little air come through but no water that's a good thing I think we might be all right we might be good to go waiting for the green drive off put her in drive we'll let her slide up out of there Roll her out here. We're gonna vacuum her out. We'll wipe her down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Get her nice and clean. And then we're good to go, guys. We'll go back and we'll reevaluate the uh the vehicle. Alright, she's nice and steady. All right, guys, we're back in the lab with the auto fix. I'm gonna power her up. Right. And what we're gonna do here is try to clear, we're gonna read these codes and then clear these codes so we can start over and see what the situation is. Pain in the ass. Oh, that's right. It was face down, right? Yeah. Of course. All right. Auto fixes. Initializing. Diag. Yep. GM. Automatic selection. Read. We're going to let it scan. I'm not even going to check GM. We're just going to do regular code reading here. All right. Codes found. One code. 
right. Let it connect to the car. Oh, it says the trunk's open. Is the trunk open? It is. Okay. Catalyst system below threshold. Catalyst system. These are all pending. Okay, so these are pending 0420, 0430. So we'll see what's up with those. Well, that code, P0420, is probably because my cats don't work um, or they're not there. So, uh, yeah. I think a custom tune will tune that out. Those are the only codes that I'm seeing now. I'm not seeing a misfire or anything like that uh, showing up, even though I can feel it. What I might do is just go to an exhaust shop, cut the cats out, have them take the catalytic converters out, let them keep them. That sh should cut my cost. And then do something with the O2 sensors, I guess. But uh, that should let it free flow a little bit. It's probably going to be a little louder. And I should get a little bit more power out of it. All right, so we cleared the codes for the cats. Um, I will have to get with an exhaust shop to try to get that situated. The next thing we're going to address, uh, we'll probably do that in the next video, is going to be that, that miserable airbag light. We're going to get rid of that. And it's a very simple process. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. For those that say I don't work on shit or do anything, uh, there you have it. We took care of the wheel hubs today. We got it cleaned up. Uh, we're definitely going to, you know, I did say we we're going to look at it. I'm definitely going to have to either wrap or paint this car. Some of the stuff I might be able to address, like the little nicks and stuff, and then just wrap the hood. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm probably just going to paint it. We'll just paint the damn car. Get it done. I loaded all the tools and stuff up in her so she's good to go. Um, you know, we'll get another video. I'll show you guys how to address those air, that airbag light. If it fixes it, if it's truly not the airbag uh, malfunctioning. We'll unplug the uh, sensors under the seat in both seats, and it should fix the airbags. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, um, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Still haven't come up with a name for this car yet, though I do have a couple of ideas, and I appreciate all your suggestions as well. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll have more content, more stuff coming soon on this Cadillac here fairly shortly um it's gonna have to get its power steering system addressed i'll probably do that and i'm not gonna do that next i'm probably gonna send that to a shop that's a pain in the ass to do um but i'll probably replace the pump all the lines and shit and then um i'll probably do the tensioner pulley and the and the serpentine belt just because uh, i'm really a stickler for for scheduled maintenance or preventative maintenance um same way like i know that it's not misfiring according to the computer right now but i can feel it i'm just going to replace the coil packs in case one of them is not doing proper and i'm going to do the spark plugs because it hasn't been done it's preventative maintenance we're just going to get that knocked out but anyways there you guys have it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i gotta pull the bmw here into the garage park the other bmw in the driveway <sighs> too many cars and um try to get this thing situated so stay tuned if you have any questions comments things of that nature you have one of these cadillacs um i'll do my best to try to answer any questions i can for you i'm learning a lot about them every day and uh i'm going to do my best to try to get this car situated and uh a reliable beast so stay tuned with that said hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button i will see you guys very soon on the next one peace Y'all about to be mad as fuck at me. Did I just sell a car at the bar? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna do something with that suspension. Woo! Hear it now. Get up off that tire, damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. I am not a fan of air suspension, man. I'm really not. Even though this one finally lifted up. Gosh, you look so good at night and with this black, man. And these taillights. Oof. 
so gangster, man. Damn. All right, now we can end the video. And no, I didn't sell the car at the bar. You can thank Esau World for that because uh, he was like, don't do it. 